This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway, supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. Production services by Sidekick Media Services. And listeners like you supporting us at patreon.com slash awesomecast. It is the Awesome Cast 701. We made it past the threshold here. It's time to get geeky, get awesome. This is the Awesome Cast. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the social medias in the Sorgatron Media Studios in Pittsburgh, PA, where it is fall. I got my Ninja Turtle sweater on and I got my pumpkin spice latte in hand ready to go uh, with this. And with me also getting fall ish e or something like that i think he just went on a nice fall run yesterday if not mistaken dave potter <laughs> of the iphoneography podcast is with us how you doing sir uh, doing good sir yep uh enjoyed a run and actually finished inside of <gasps> i will i will not call i will not need change the name of the stadium it is heinz field mm-hmm. nope <laughs> nope we will not recognize yes uh no the Heinz Field the whatever you want to call it not exactly. whatever uh, the uh, the uh, the the Achoo Stadium whatever it is uh <laughs> <laughs> but anyways this is the awesome cast I think Chile is going to be jumping in here let me know if he's I, I'm not going to see him pop in the Zoom here but let me know if there is a, a Chile sighting of any sort uh in the meantime but this is the awesome cast and we like to get into our geeky things of the week uh Potter would you like to see my doohickey? Oh, doohickey, yes. So Missy grabbed uh, this thing. Um, we, we stopped at a Dollar General because we had to get some uh, Missy safe drinks for her. So she's doing, big, uh, you know, some um, uh, uh, diety things. And she's in she's mm-hmm. in the Dollar General out in the middle of nowhere and finds a cameraman doohickey. Oh, it is labeled as eighteen dollars, but her entire bill was sixteen dollars. So we don't know how much this was. To be quite okay. honest, I looked it up on Amazon. It retail. It's going for about twenty two dollars right now. Okay, so it's a, uh, a doohickey. It's got one of those ass seen on TVs. I think there's a whole shelf of them there uh, on one of the end caps there. If you ever do oh, a yeah. Dollar General, mm-hmm. automatically snaps photos in seconds. Face and object tracking and recognition. Um, automatic rotation selfie holder. So what it is, uh, and let's see, let's get rid of the box. We're done with that now. Uh, so it's, I got my nice uh, 13 Pro Max on this thing. It's a little stand. Okay. okay it's a little yeah. stand this situation going on here. I don't really have any place to put it, I guess. Uh, I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to load the uh, Doohickey app. Okay. Doohickey app. There we go. Okay, and now it's going to face track me a little bit here. Ooh. I'm going to try to per- almost precariously put it over here. I'm going to hold that there, uh, and let me um, let me do this so you're going to be able to s- actually see this on screen. One moment, please. Let's see which one we're doing here. There we go. And now, if you go to uh, this, uh, you know we got the doohickey on here. You see, it's right here on. Um, I'm holding it, and uh, mm-hmm. as you go here, it's going to actually follow me. Oh, yes, it's slowly, actually working. But it's actually working and following me. And you can do video and you can do uh, uh, pictures with this. So, I, and of course, my audio, I'm moving. I'm moving so so I can demonstrate. But, uh, you know, uh, so, so, and it's got some pretty kind of cheap, um, um, it's got some pretty cheap, uh, you know, kind Smile. of faces, face filters and everything like that. Now I'm in a video version and I think okay. it's, it's counting down. I don't know, it automatically counts down. So, but um, I guess this could. Okay, this could be I don't a, know if it's taking. Oh, there it is. Okay, the video, video. started. Uh, okay. So, so the problem is then you go into stickers and it's like, oh, this got pre stickers and basic stickers. I'm like, oh, let's use this, and you get this oh. <laughs> situation here. Um, some some Asian language of some koji, if you will. Do it. Do a screenshot. Um, Maybe do a screenshot. And yeah, I might Google have Translate. to. I might have to do that. Uh, uh, supposedly I need to upgrade, I guess everything else is in, in English and everything. Uh, but anyway, so we're, we're going pretty good there and then we're going to stop and there's some filters and I can, um, let's see what we got here. I got, this is out of body. I mean, it's, you know, it's got some pretty cheap kind of, you know, um, you know, specialty things or something like that. So mm-hmm. it's taken a bunch of videos, uh, but, but yeah, the idea is, is it is going to follow you a little bit. Uh, so if you need to do a little bit of movement, can set this on a table, need to kind of do a selfie filming of some sort. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I, I think that's about all there is to it. Uh, you know, it's got, you can turn the face, tra- face and object tracking on and off here. 
Uh, so, you know, I presumably, mm. you know, like I got an object checking. So let's say, um, let's say I got this remote control here. So maybe it will track to it, perhaps. I don't know what's going to do now. This is an object. Hello, object. I don't know. No, it yeah, looks like yeah. it's only. It looks like it's only. Looks like it only person. Like, yeah, only. It, 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 but it's set for object tracking. So uh, face tracking, but face tracking definitely works. It's definitely picking up on my face. It's definitely moving with it. I am wondering how much this rotates. I'm, I'm actually turning uh, the base, if you will, uh, with this thing. But yeah, is uh, whoop, I went too far and it didn't Oop. know what to do. So it doesn't. So it doesn't hmm. move terribly fast with this. So it would be good for if you are, let's say, kind of doing a, a talk mm -hmm. or doing a, if you're recording yourself doing a demonstration, because I don't, it looks like you have to use the app. It looks like a record. Uh, there is a live function on here, which I have not gone oh. into. Choose an app to start smart shooting. Ooh. So now let's say I want to go live Ugh. on look, per Periscope is still listed in this thing. Um, yeah. Jeez. And, I, and and also, I would be a little concerned. Start broadcast. It's called screen broadcast. So I don't know what it's starting to do here. Everything on your screen, including notifications, will be recorded. Yeah, I, so it, it that that that's more of a, a it looks like the the built-in screen recording. So I'm doing screen recording, but you oh, can screen have... record to okay. You can do a screen recording. So now I'm I don't know what account I'm in my own account. Oh God, it's it's just moving on its own. Oh no, it's just moving. Where is it going? <gasps> Where are you going? It's alive, man. What are you doing? Perfect. Where are you going? It's trying. We need. You need a young priest and an old priest. Yes. Oh, I used to use. I used Chilla. to know a young priest. Uh, it's try. There it went. It turned to up. No, I'm nope. turning it. Now I'm turning it. Oh. Um, but a screen broadcast, lang <laughs> broadcast, a doohickey is stopped due to attempted start on an invalid broadcast session. I don't know what it's trying to do right now, honestly. So, um, it, it, I mean, obviously, it's Bluetooth thing to this device, so it can do stuff. And then apparently, I have frozen. We have frozen the show. We oh. have frozen the show, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so so whatever is happening there. Oh, no. Is this the same thing that happened a couple weeks ago? Did the doohickey screw up our awesome cast? Yes, we ran into a problem and need to restart. I swear, if this is another damn uh, Windows update. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I, we're still live on the Patreon, so that's one thing on, on Patreon you're going to get out of this. Uh, so we're going to be using some of this recording probably later uh, for this. Uh, anyways, um, I guess, uh, you know, uh, geez, we're just going to wait till that comes back. But yeah, so it's a weird, the doohickey is very strange. Uh, I don't know what to do with it, and apparently it has awk on effects because it crashed the uh, the, sh the show in the middle. Of I think I need to replace this computer or something because uh, the second time it's done in like three weeks. So, but we'll be mm -hmm. up here uh, for the live stream here in just a moment. Um, that's why we're doing uh, kind of the back end record now too. <laughs> so just to yeah. kind of go with things. So um, I don't know, Ch oh. Chilla. You just you just joined us. Hello, Chilla. Welcome back. Can you hear me? Uh, we can hear you. You're definitely yeah, with us, Chilla. Something to think about on the on the mm -hmm. tracking because mm -hmm. we've we've run into this. If you track too fast, you could pick up like something you don't necessarily want to pick up. Oh, on, oh, or, like your AI does. Yeah, or like the AI, but even like we've been messing around with what like a lot of that. Oh, Sorg's completely frozen. Yeah. Um, so. Are you there, Sorg? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep going. The broadcast. Yeah, we can hear him fine on Zoom. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. But every it's but separated. The, Don't the worry. The broadcast separated. going out's dead. So we've oh, been no. messing around We're with back. with we've been messing around with ah. the delay settings mm -hmm. for tracking mm -hmm. because what we found out was if someone sneezes, like for that even short of a time, then like the whole thing, the whole system tries to pan. It doesn't to know, that person. It, it doesn't want to know what's going on at that point, right? Yeah. So it's just using audio and motion. Mm -hmm. So like we set the delay, but then we set the delay to like it was like five or seven seconds. Mm -hmm. But then for people that were just giving a short like five word answer, it was never moving to them at all. Mm -hmm. so, like there's a lot. There's it's just like noise cancellation. Like 
like I heard about a bunch of different companies and they I've actually seen this in action where they sound sample a ton of different noises like do- different dogs barking. One of the big thing was the chip wrappers. Mm-hmm. So like if mm. you have a bl- bag of chips, but all the sound sampling for the bags of chips were based on old foil packs. And then everyone went to like recycled paper type packs and the sound, the sounds are completely different. So like you have to keep resampling and you really have to think about what you're doing mm-hmm. to make it work for the majority. It's probably never going to be a hundred percent. Yeah. So I, I mean, this is, I mean, this is, this is the, when we talk about the uh, quote unquote Chinese knockoffs, I mean, this is kind of the most knockoff of knockoffs. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, you know, so I'm not, I'm not kind of worried about that. So, um, yeah. so there, there are apps creating a dual stream to somewhere in some far yeah, off. I, I have no idea. Have I, I, I've turned it off. I moved on to, to the Facebook chat and stuff. So I'm hoping that kind of fixes everything. Uh, you know, so, oh. but I mean, and, and, and Sork, Sor- mm-hmm. I did happen to look at the Amazon reviews. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think the first review the person just got the wrong idea because it says this did not fit in my cup holder and it was, <laughs> a way, it was in the way of my gear shift so I don't know do if it. they had it down there thinking they were going to live stream from their car or do videos from their car mm-hmm. maybe and, and the other one said app is not available in my country US and customer phone number does not work give me a break yeah, I was paying like New $5. Hickey, dollars. No worky. <laughs> <laughs> that, is that one of those AI ones? <laughs> uh, I love it. It's so weird. Um it 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 does something. Um it was it was a fun little thing to kind of play with here for a couple of bucks. Um it I'm going to say it came from the clearance table uh as well. Uh so yeah. so they've had this there for a while. Um who knows how long it's been there? Actually, hold on a second. I can tell you. Where's that box? I threw over my shoulder. Uh, let's see. This was a copyright. Uh, doesn't even have a copyright. A lot of times there's a copyright on something like this. I uh, only if you care if you actually have a team that actually wants to support and you're not the one stealing. That's true, too. Uh, there is a <laughs> website, uh, doohickeyproducts.com, by the way. And uh, there is a, uh, it mm-hmm. says, a uh, uh, support system, uh, supports iOS 10 or version or no, newer, Android 8.1 or newer. Uh, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's from back then. It's just a support, right? Well, stage. when so the app on it, when was the app last updated? Ooh, that's a good question, right? <laughs> that's a good question. I, I guess I can go check that mm-hmm. out. Uh, let's uh, see. And I, I am going to go to the site just to see what's there, but I'm going in incognito mode on a backup browser that's just probably, in case. Probably, probably a good thing to do. Using DuckDuckGo? <sighs> Hit the flame button? Uh, well, no, it, it comes up. It comes up. Well, the, la- uh, the latest. Uh, let's see. The, the 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 comments are on the app are from like two two years ago. <laughs> uh, where do I see the version history? What's new version history? It, it has not been updated for two years on the app side of things. So, um, and yeah. it's, it, that item is not listed on their website. Mm, oh, really? It was at the stop. That's not surprising. So, hence why it's uh oh uh, three years ago they updated to optimize the interface details and add background music. Okay. Um, yeah, 1.0 was three years ago, and 1.3 was two years ago. So that gives you a little <laughs> bit of an idea of how that was going, I suppose. So there you go. It is a doohickey. It's a, I, I, you know what? I, I'm not saying awesome as in I recommend this product. I'm saying awesome as in look what you can get for a, a nominal price of electronics at the Dollar General in Ohioville, uh, 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 PA, uh, in the middle of nowhere. So uh, on the way to mom's, who's in the chat room. Uh, so this is a doohickey. It's a cameraman. It will not replace my cameraman at the uh, wrestling shows, if you will. Uh, so that that's my awesome, fun uh, little peak of the week there. Uh, what do you guys got for awesome things of the week? If you don't mind, I'll go next. Mm-hmm. Um, I want to make sure Cat doesn't step on the keyboard. Cat. Uh, now, now a few weeks ago mm-hmm. on the pre-show mm-hmm. for our Patreon, for our patrons, I talked about having a new lawnmower. Yes, you were really big on this lawnmower. Yes. Well, I, I just got it that day. Mm-hmm. So, and I have cut grass with it twice. So I do. I want to have experience before talking about it. Um. 
first of all, and and this is just, you know, the thing was, what was it, like $200, $300, something like that. And it's plastic. So the housing is plastic. So the fact it's not self-propelled isn't such of a big deal because it's exceptionally light. Um, and it does come with the two batteries, the larger batteries. And first time I did it, because it was right after the long break after, you know, we had that drought in Pittsburgh, um, that it's supposed to last 50 minutes. It lasted me like 35 minutes. Um, the last time I did it, which was a few days ago, it worked a lot better. Grass still wasn't growing because it's hot and dry. Mm hmm. So yeah, th this is as close as I could find it. Mm -hmm. Mine looks a little different because I don't have the cap on top of the um, lawnmower. You can the battery just kind of the dual batteries kind of slide in there. Okay, see the batteries on top of the lawnmower. But it, I would say the fact that it is relatively light is a nice thing. You have some, you you know, have, in terms you have, of pushing you, up and down hills. I was gonna say, do you have some small hills and stuff like that you have to deal with? We got substantial yeah, hills. Yeah, yeah. We have we have our back hill is like twenty degree angle, mm -hmm. so it's it's kind of substantial, um, and so that helps. Um, we had a couple batteries for other things, so I was able to switch out if I have to halfway through uh, because they're all work. It, it, it's acceptable. Mm -hmm. I would say this: it's acceptable. Okay. Um, in terms of how inflation hits everything, it's a little ridiculous what they're, what people are asking for, for, because, I mean, if you looked at the price, it was, I think it said $300, 320. Yeah. 329 in the one that you, you yeah. showed me. Yeah. I think, like I said, that was the closest, um, for $300, I would, I would be expecting more, um, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, because the next step is, and that was the cheapest battery powered motor. Sure. Or a mower because most of them were in the four, five, six hundred dollar range. And I'm sorry, but the average person is not going to, or really, it's a, unreasonable in my mind to say, oh, you're an average person with a house. Mm -hmm. You have to spend five to six hundred dollars for mm -hmm. a lawnmower. Mm -hmm. You know, and we're not talking like a big riding one, which is, you know, five thousand dollars used car or used to be used car um we're talking just a, you know like a little cheapy little push mower which is like i said it's plastic makes it like nice and easy hopefully no rust and it'll survive but uh, it, it feels like a glorified weed whacker mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that instead of using the um the plastic cord yeah it's <sighs> That's yeah. what that's what yeah I, I I use a corded version myself because I just figure yeah. I don't have enough yard to be worthy and like one long cord gets me around mostly yard and the side the side mm -hmm. plot that we have the mow, um so like like that's like just plug it in front of the house and I'm good to go I mean it's a little extra management but uh, yeah. I think that's good this is this is a small yard person's issue uh, uh Chilla you have a city plot what are you using for a lawnmower. So for the longest time, I was actually, and I still do use it on occasion. I have a real lawnmower, like the old school, like my grandfather had. Yes, spinning blade, <laughs> the spinning self, blade, self propelled. Um, and I used that for quite some time. The problem was Wait, like a riding I, one. What? No, 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 no. Like, a, like not no. electric anything. We're, we're, think old tiny. Oh, the Amish that, the we, barrel on the bottom. The Amish lawnmower. Yeah, I tried doing that for a while. <laughs> that was a lot of effort and I was not down with it. And I would wait way too long to mow my lawn that's, like, like right now. <laughs> that's where I ran into the problems with it, right? Like you have to, you can't skip. Yeah. You can't um, let it go. You can't let it go or it doesn't, it just doesn't like I ended up having to weed whack anywhere where something got too long and then mow again. Mm -hmm. So I was going twice. Um, I use I do use that from from time to time, um, when I know it's going to hit every area. Mm -hmm. um, now I use a, I think it's a, I think it's a, Craftsman, just regular everyday gas push mower. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's 
it is self-propelled. Like it has the lever to make itself for, like you can turn it on and off. I don't remember you having all that I didn't much yard. Want, I didn't want self-propelled, but it's all that Home Depot had. That's gonna like, it was the, like, at, like there was probably, I don't know, 15 different push lawn mowers. Every one of them. Man, you don't know. You know, it, like the, the ability to get a lawnmower off of Amazon is so incredible. <laughs> You know? uh, yeah, but that's like I want to go see it. I want to how yes, heavy is it? I need like, to I touch wanna, it. We almost—that's yeah, something I want to touch. You know, it, it is an interesting thing. You know, we were like, "Hey, I need to get a new laptop for like I need something as a presentation laptop for like PowerPoint and things like that for a, a workshop that I'm I'm filming next week." And pretty much, I do the AV on. Uh, somehow, I got back backed into that. And um, but, anyways. Um, so it was like, oh, let's go to Walmart. I'm like, we're going to Walmart for a computer. And we ended up ordering one online. And it was just like, but also like, you know, the idea of like, oh, go in and actually like see if they're actually half decent. Is, it was kind of nice. Uh, we didn't end up doing it. We ended up ordering online. Uh, don't be careful. I don't like ordering things on Walmart, guys. Um, cause you don't know you're coming from a reseller and not actually Walmart. And you're like, why is this taking forever? And it's FedEx. And then you have to sign for it. It's really a pain in the butt, by the way. <laughs> so... Um, but yeah, however, you can find some really interesting things for the resellers on Walmart. Yeah, you can find interesting things, but it's just like, I'd like, rather... like body, like, like a body bag, like a body bag. What is this a thing? Is mm -hmm. there, is there a, a, a resellers of Walmart, like TikTok or something like that, that I'm missing I, out I, on? Th there, there are very unique mm -hmm. things for resellers of, of Walmart. Okay. And yes, you can get body bags. Oh, that's good to know. I mean, they, they, yeah. they, Just in they case. do have everything. They do have everything. I guess, it, it, so. it, it, it's spooky season. It is. Who spooky. doesn't, uh, eat, right. who doesn't eat a body bag? Exactly. Exactly. Or you're a professional wrestler and you just need extra. I know a couple that could use those. <laughs> a couple <laughs> wrestlers that could use those. And do you think the bat? you said the battery life was better the second time? Oh, I think did it you? was easier. It was better the second time, partially because it was only a couple weeks. Mm -hmm. Because the first time, the grass still wasn't thick, thick, but it was thicker, so I had to stop. Mm -hmm. There was enough grass that it kind of stopped the blade, so mm -hmm. I had to stop, get it undone, and then. So, because I was bagging both times, so it may not have the most power, but it is battery, uh, uh, you know, put, uh, exactly. Propelled so that it's yeah. not going to sh cut through everything. That's where right. you need a good, honest oh, goodness, gas mower. It's not going to cut 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 through the matchbox cars. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. This no. is a sheer. You have grass, or like how I I killed a pine tree by running over it with the uh, riding lawnmower when I was a kid, and I wasn't allowed to mow the yeah. grass for the longest time. Uh, anyways, that's one oh, way to get way, out of mowing the lawn. It was one way. By the way, real quick, uh, I did look up lawnmowers just out of curiosity from from Amazon, mm -hmm. and the very for, for walk behind the very first one is American lawnmower, eighteen inch five blade real lawnmower. Mm -hmm. For a hundred and twenty dollars, a real lawnmower. Well, R E E L, mm -hmm. oh, like yes. like the one to, like the one Chilla was talking about. It's like the, like uh, my mom's the barrel. Are, my mom's really big in the Ryobi uh, lawn care yeah. items right now. Is is the big thing, and they all take like the same battery. You know, I really like my hedge trimmer. Like, anyways, mm -hmm. Chilla, what is your awesome my, thing? like my real? Mm -hmm. Just real quick though, like my real lawnmower has a grass catcher. Mm -hmm. Oh. So like when the when the grass comes kicks off the back of it, mm -hmm. it actually it's an open bag, mm -hmm. but it's like there's a catcher there, so mm -hmm. it does does kind of bag, and you yeah. can leave it off if you want to try to mulch. Yeah, I, I actually mulch my grass. Yeah, me too. I I don't see much purpose in the. I I like it of like well, this is what it feeds off of, right? So, you mm -hmm. know. anyways, Chilla, what is your awesome thing of the week? My awesome thing is so I noticed. That Elgato, which is a, a company I really like their products. I've had mm -hmm. very good luck with them. Um, I've pretty much yes. I'm also the very device. familiar with them. Yes, <laughs> so, like they make a lot of good yeah. quality products. Um, sometimes they're a bit pricey. Sometimes, um, but they came out with a new line called the Neo line, and there's like a webcam, and there is a key light, and they have a capture device. Mm. Um, the capture device, it isn't something it's not going to capture in 4K like some of their higher end devices. But at a $99 price point, I think it's completely acceptable to the point where it actually leverages some of their new tech 
So if you go down to the play and capture on iPad, I think it's one yeah, picture yeah, up yeah, right there, there. You go right there. So you can actually oh. you can actually use your iPad to capture and stream, mm-hmm. which I thought was pretty cool. So if like and, and when you think about something like a Nintendo Switch, mm-hmm. it's not like the screen real estate on the Nintendo Switch is huge. Um, so your iPad's going to be an even bigger display for that device. Mm-hmm. Um, but it will let you control the streaming and they have an application for the iPad. I've used it with their HD 4KX, whatever their 4K version of this device is. Um, <clears throat> that is a little more pricey. But it, I thought it was pretty cool that they're they're keeping up with like, hey, you can you can kind of have your entire streaming rig be an iPad. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you can use their devices just to plug into it. Um, it like uses, that. yeah, you can use their application or you can use, I can't remember what the, the pay for version of, um, OBS is. Um, but it seems pretty cool. I'd be interested in it if I didn't have their, their other device that they had not, that they came out with not too long ago. Um, and the Neo line, from what I understand, is also trying to take on a uh, a green type initiative. Um, in fact, the Neo Game Capture Neo is sixty percent recycled plastic. Hmm. Nice. Um, so if you look at and you can look at their other devices, and they give you know environmental stats on it, um, whether it's the key light, they have the Game Capture, they have actually have a Stream Deck Neo which is an eight button stream deck with a small additional display. Um, they actually have the wave Neo, which is a microphone. And then they have the face cam Neo, um, which is a um, camera. Like I said, it, to me, it's, it's obviously it's a green initiative. Um, it's not going to be, you know, super um, high performing, but, I've always, like I said, I've always been impressed with their devices, so I don't think they're going to be Seems bad more... to use. It just may not be like, hey, you're not going to get dual 4K streams out of some of these devices, or you're not going to get... Mm. It's not their top-of-the-line equipment, but I, I feel like it makes it affordable for most people to be say, make, you're in, getting into streaming. I think it's a good entry point. Yeah, entry. Uh, it, seem, it seems like an entry-level kind of situation. I, yeah. yeah, no, that seems to make a lot of sense there. <laughs> and I, and I feel like when you go like the, yes, you can probably find a HDMI capture device for like 40 bucks, mm-hmm. but it's going to offload all the processing and everything to your PC. Yep. So it's yep. like, you're going to have, to, you're going to have to invest that money into your PC Yep. Um, versus this makes it to me more accessible to anyone. Heck, if you have, like I said, if you have an yeah. iPad, uh, like you said, can stream your Xbox. I was holding up the uh, yeah. Camlink, um, a, a, the the Camlink. I think it's a Camlink 4K officially. Yeah, Camlink 4K. It's just a USB three, um, yeah, USB A uh, form factor, and an HDMI. Uh, we had to grab one of these last minute when we realized that uh, some some of the resolution wasn't working with our switcher uh, on on site when we were uh, going for something in Michigan. Um, like you just coming out of COVID. Uh, 21 and now we have a couple of these uh, and, and yeah and I, I have this on an old uh asus laptop that doesn't have a lot of power to it, it has intel graphics um and this is really nice because uh we use it to bring in the feed uh from if we're you know we're streaming a bunch of things and we're trying to get into tiktok for the wrestling and we need an hdmi in so this has been a really easy uh way to do that as well uh so but yeah and we've also grabbed like the 20 dollar versions of this this is like again this is like a i think it was like 120 dollars for Mm -hmm. something like this at the time maybe still is and it's like, oh, there's a twenty thirty dollar version of this and yeah it tacks that try to throw in some water computers and it just shreds the hell out of that cpu trying to keep up with it over usb uh so yeah you're right you know if you need something where you don't want to pull and especially if you're like gaming and streaming off of the thing that's some more cpu that you're going to be taking up you want something that's going to offload that onto a device uh that you that you put through there and putting something in usb i remember this when i tried to put webcams together and multi-switch on one computer with multiple webcams um yeah it kills it it kills it uh you know multiple times we would have problems where we just run out of assets in the middle of the show so definitely definitely get something good like an elgato like this so seems pricey but it's going to be worth it for what you're trying to accomplish right well and 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 like i said i think it's cheaper to this hardware might 
outlast your laptop or whatever you're streaming from, but it's going to be cheaper in the long run because you're not spending multiple thousands of dollars for a whole new streaming rig versus, Hey, just invest the extra 60 bucks now. Exactly. And this will hopefully carry you forward. And it's like, I said, it's rather portable. Exactly. Awesome. Well, Hey, you know what else is carrying us forward is our friends on Patreon, patreon.com slash awesome cast, uh, over there. Thank you. Everybody that does support the show. Of course, uh, we do have a Patreon feed going out now. A lot of times we do a lot of chatter after the show. Uh, and we include that. Of course, it's on that live feed that goes out there, and we do cut it out for you guys uh, for later in the week. So you can check out a lot of times we're talking about things we don't want to talk about on the show. Maybe they're a little negative. Maybe they're less like we haven't really gotten into it yet. Maybe we're experimenting with something like AI images and weird uh, Godzilla uh, imagery. Um, I think we got into a little bit more of that last week, actually. So because you shouldn't pay for uh, Twitter X to be able to use their AI, but we do so you don't have to. Um, also, I might have an account that actually benefits from that. So anyways, not the grok part, but the rest of it. Thank you, everybody. that does support the show, though, over on uh, patreon.com slash awesomecast. Our friends Cynthia Klosky, Michael Fedor, John DeGore, and Dave Potter, Spouser Roos, Julia Ferret, Roos, fair.com that is still accurate correct i know you said there might be some yes. changes soon okay no no we're still good support russo full drillery affair dot com. Dot com. Dot com. and speaking of ponder you got a couple of things in here uh why, which of these articles you want to hit up next uh, one seems a less than awesome article and something that looks like it's going to affect me in the near future yes so you know what let's let's do the uh, more awesome thing okay from Transport Canada. Okay. So uh, for those who don't know what Transport Canada is, that is the Canadian uh, Department of Transportation. Um, it, it, I think it just sounds nicer, too. It does. You know, instead of, oh, I got it, it's the DOT. It's Transport Canada. Mm-hmm. You know, so they're testing drones and AI to monitor endangered white, white whales. Mm-hmm. Uh, for the North American right whales. I'm going to make sure I'm saying that correct. Uh, so the idea is, because we all have heard about drones, and it's not always positive when you hear about what's happening in the news, especially and AI. So they're using drones and AI so they can go up there and track the drones and making it a lot cheaper because it's using the drone cameras par- paired with AI so it's looking at all this information and it's transmitted back to marine authorities so he can see if the whale's location and everything else going on. So this is kind of their first try to get out there um, and see what's happening there. So again, it, it's kind of nice to hear a nice positive story dealing with both drones and AI. A good use of it. I mean, it makes exactly. a lot of sense. Like, I, I know, you know, I, I've done, I've done uh, some content for like surveyors that are like using drones to survey areas that are they're not unsafe. It makes sense that we're taking it out to the wilderness to check on uh, uh, things going on out there, right? Mm-hmm. Exactly, because you also figured the amount of people who would be available to manually go over all the data is kind of limited. Because you would have to have people who specifically are familiar with what's going on. But if you can get AI trained up to find patterns, and after all, sorry about that. That's one of the things AI is really good at, is pattern recognition and the boring pattern recognition. You know, that's what that that was the one, of, at least in my mind, one of the promise of AI. Mm-hmm. AI will do all the boring, monotonous stuff that taxes your brain as a human being. And this is one thing they're trying to use is, hey, we're just trying to find patterns here from the image. Yeah. It was throw it at AI. Oh, you throw it at AI, then you don't have somebody that's like trying to watch the footage and then hoping they identify something, you know, exactly. and, and taking human man hours off of this, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, but if there is something like this looks like this, the imagery looks like this, so, you know, it detects that kind of uh, uh, patterns. Uh, that makes a lot of sense for something like this. Yeah. Very, very, very interesting. So, um, cool. So cool thing that Canada is doing with Mm -hmm. drones up there. So, um, yeah. And that's a, that's a very unique, uh, problem they're trying to solve. So, 
Uh, Amanda Narcissi was in the, uh, had a couple of things in the uh, Google, or I'm sorry, in the Facebook groups this week for Awesome Cast. This was a lot of fun. Um, so she shared this one that is, because you know what we love? Things that run do. And this is a, um, I think this was an LRM. Uh, no, not an LRM. LRM is language, of course. But this is a, let me make sure I get this uh, uh, wording right. This is a neural, neural module module that is doing a real-time game of doom now what do we mean by it's it's being generated um real time in a neural model with a tpu and not with the use of the doom engine itself and you actually you can see a little bit of artifacting there as they go through here there's a couple weird Dots that were kind of floating there. It looks a little soft if you look at this. This is one of the classic levels. I think like level three. That's actually level one there. Uh, things like that. Um, and yeah, it looks a little soft. I mean, it looks like it's, uh, you know, maybe running on a, you know, it, it, it's like a lot of it is like is cleaner and then there's parts that aren't. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it, it's com it's an interesting use. And you have the full architecture there with the game environment, the data collection. So, and again, they, they did it by... It looks like they did it by de uh, having it, the agent play the game, um, so they 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 could not collect the ga human gameplay at scale as uh, the first stage. We train an automatic RL agent to play the game, persisting its training episodes of actions and observations, which become the training for data for our generative model. So, yeah, there's a lot of stuff. Um, they corrupt context frames. Uh, by adding Gaussian noise, so that makes sense. That smoothness that you kind of see if you're looking at the footage of this, that there's a little bit of Gaussian, mm -hmm. blur, Gaussian. I think I'm saying it wrong. Uh, blurred. Gal yeah, Gaussian. Like Gaussian. 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 Yeah. I've been saying it. I've been saying it wrong in my head for about 20 years. <laughs> I have 25 years probably. So. Well, at least well. that's how I heard it when it was. Uh, I heard other people say, now they could be wrong also. Mm -hmm. if it was, if the, you probably listen to more artist podcasts than I do. Uh, <laughs> so um, it's really interesting. Of course, there's a lot of tech you can get into this. There's a full architecture for how they how they worked on it and everything like that. But that's really, really, really impressive. Uh, so and, and as to one more thing that you can run Doom on. Uh, this was uh, the model was being put together by uh, two guys from Google Research, uh, somebody from Tel Aviv University, and Google DeepMind uh, together with this collaboration to get it done. So uh, game N, game the letter N, Gen, G-E-N, and it's a GitHub project as well. So uh, you can dig into that if you are so inclined and a lot smarter than me. Cello, when do you, when do you want to neural? Uh, we, 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 let's say Doom was the earliest. Like like next next is having it run Quake right? Yeah, I would say Quake would probably be next. Yeah, the, like the, the the next like 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 Doom is the the pinnacle of two D sprite in a three D space, right? And, uh, quote quote unquote two and a half D engine that it was at the time, um, and then Quake was the big new three D engine polygons. Uh, at the time, I think I, they weren't the first, but they were the most significant in that era, I believe. So, well, and I wonder if they, because tell me if if you remember this, and maybe I was just a one off, but I feel like everyone got Quake because they all went to Comp USA and got the free demo CD. <laughs> well, I downloaded mine, or I got it off a of PC magazine, maybe. You got uh, it, yeah. Like they, came, like they distributed that. They distributed yeah. that game. Everywhere. shareware baby it was shareware then, remember it, it was yeah it was shareware and then you just paid mm -hmm. or you found a key generator mm -hmm. and it unlocked the entire game i never i never key gen any id software stuff oh well, well I, I i was not i was not privy to that at the time so um i just played the hell out of shareware levels that came on cds that i got through with like my gamepad and stuff like that right but so. yeah but and i don't remember doom like the to me, Doom was just something you had to pick up somewhere. Like it wasn't so easily accessible. No, 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 no. But which is why. But again, if is, you subscribe to PC Gamer, picked up a Gravis gamepad in that era, you 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 ended up with something that had Doom on it. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Or there was like the five dollar bin that had shareware out there, right? 
Um, that was at most again Comp USA if you were if you had something like that. I, I can't remember what the equivalent was that I even had access to in that era. Radio Shack, I guess. Uh, so um, that's the closest thing to a computer store we had in my town. Uh, so so the, yeah, that was the way to do it. That was the way the I mean, way you got into it. It's I me. Mean, the only thing easier to access than Quake CDs was. AOL free trial. There you go. And sometimes <laughs> those probably also included Doom. Uh, anyway, probably. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's go to ponder number two. AI features uh, for Canva are going to lead to a 300% increase in the price. Is this is this happening? It is happening. Yes. What? Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Um, and it's not a matter of... And, and this is for... now. Canva teams. So this isn't individual. Okay, okay. It looks like yet. Okay. Yet. Um, but yeah, uh, in the U S some Canva teams are reporting subscription going from $120 a year for five users to $500 a year mm-hmm. for five users. So yeah. And now they said there's a 40% discount that that's an introductory price for $300 for the first 12 months, but that's still more than doubling the price. And, and it doesn't seem like it's a matter of, um, it's going as, Oh, well you can keep your current camera without the AI for this amount, but if you want AI, you have to go. No, they're just giving everyone up. Okay. Okay. Who's on the? Who's on this? Who's not, on the? Yeah. But that is like that, that's teams. That's the that's the corporate. That's the business that's version the of it. One. Uh, right. We are on like a ten or twelve dollar edition of Canva. I don't think we're going to be looped into this. Um, no. I don't use Canva. That's something that we do use in the office. Uh, but I'm not the primary user at all. I'm still using, as I say, Adobe Express Spark. I still use the Spark address to get to it to make a couple of uh, podcast mm-hmm. graphics every once in a while. Um. That is, you know, a, and this is this layering. Uh, this is something we're going to watch out for because I know we keep getting, I keep getting bugged to try out uh, Gemini in uh, in in Google Workspaces for free. I don't want that cost to go up. All I'm already paying too much for Workspaces for what we're using it for. Um, you know, it, it it's 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 sticky, but also yeah. they need to try to make some of their money back. I get it. You know, the the the, the happy fun time, the uh, quote unquote doom shareware. Uh, and there's no key generator uh, 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 era of this is almost over, right, Chilla? Yeah, I mean, getting around any of that kind of stuff anymore is mm-hmm. extremely difficult at best. And and I would question doing any. I mean, there's obviously ways to be safe about it, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't download some. Hey, run this application on your machine, and we promise we'll. Not in this economy. We'll crack, crack open, crack open Adobe products for you, um, and that's why I have like ancient versions of Photoshop that I still run, just for when I need to do something. I mean, I'm not some advanced user, and I don't need the AI capabilities. I need, I need to be able to add some basic blurs and hmm. potentially do some some cropping. Nothing, nothing too crazy. Yeah, I no. yeah. So I mean, I, and I don't. Yeah, I don't know what the AI is in there. I don't know what we would even use it for. We, we you know, and I and I know, I know whatever we pay for AI the, today is not the service we're going to use potentially in three months from now, right? Like I get that, or well, maybe we'll have separate, or, or maybe it'll just be on our phone and we'll use that most of the time. You know, whatever the case may be. Um, but uh, yeah, it, it's 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 kind of interesting uh, to see that development there. So. Uh, Ponder, you're and I think we're going to, yeah, I would say we're going to see this more and more from companies. Now, maybe not the, well, not, not for individuals who are, let's say, using Google no. or, but, but you're going to see a lot of these smaller apps where they're start, they were starting to just add in AI and you were just using it. And if you paid for it, it was just like Adobe, you know, they add the AI. Well, it was just part of your subscription. I can see a lot of apps saying, oh, by the way, because we gave you all these great AI features, we're having to increase our price. Mm-hmm. Um, and because I saw, I, know, I forget where it was. It was a business website, and I forget which one, um, but someone forwarded it to me at work saying, the customer will pay more for AI features based on our survey. 
So when you have companies knowing that, Mm -hmm. it's coming. It's coming. It may not be this stark, but it's coming. And it's not going to be an optional, you know, if you want the AI feature, that's an additional tier. Yeah. And yeah. no, it's going to be, oh, we, we're just going to up your price because you have all these AI features. Yeah, it's, I mean, we, we see the sliding scale that happens with services across the board, things that we were free or cheap kind of move on this freemium model for a lot of things. Mm-hmm. And, and, and that's going to continue. That's, it's going to continue as we, you know, lean into this AI kind of generation. Um, so, um, you know, there's things that are going to be just kind of baked in. You know, I think I saw a generative AI thing in DuckDuckGo a couple weeks ago out of nowhere. It was like, would you like a generated answer? I'm like, no, thank you. That's why I'm on you. Uh, so, you know, that kind of thing. I, so, like, I also question how long it'll be till they can offload at least portions of that on device, which at Apple I know is working with. I don't know that I want all the photos that I'm working on, mm-hmm. you know, off uploaded to some online service just so i can get some ai tech Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i i don't feel comfortable giving them everything that i'm working on yeah yeah you have to be very specific (laughs) about something like that so um that'll be interesting well uh, speaking of oh go ahead sorry sorry i was about to mention something i saw today um and it's probably been out there i just didn't notice it but in chrome uh they have google lens built in Mm mm-hmm that if you want, and this has to be uploaded to Google's brow to the to the Google server, it takes a screenshot of the web page you're on, and you can do things like oh, w- you know, like highlight an area and say what's this, and it will do an image search, mm-hmm. or and you'll just like uh, on Google Photos where you can do an image search on Google Lens built into the browser, but it makes it go up to the their server. Mm-hmm. So obviously I tested it with something that was not work for not it was a non work related web page or not a you know a company web page because all of a sudden then if you do that your inf- that information is now on Google servers. Yeah. And that could be an issue depending on you know if you're like well wh- oh I see this image here I want to find more about it and then all of a sudden it's up on a browser it's up on a you know, their server yeah, somewhere yeah. and you lose control of it and well, then it's used somewhere else. We're going to slide into a lot of that kind of stuff, I think. And, you know, as we, we understand that moving forward. So I'm really curious to see how a lot of that kind of generates. But anyways, well, so we'll see if the value is worth it. And if people drop off a of Canva and they just kind of shoot themselves in the foot. Speaking of downloading uh, interesting things to get around certain things. Um, you know, a lot of people have been uh, having issue with YouTube and the the ad block versus I, I usually per, personally I'm a YouTube premium subscriber, so I don't have the ads and I understand the ads are get pretty terrible on YouTube if you don't sign up for something like that. Um, this was something that came off my feed today. It's called FreeTube. It's actually an application you have to download. I got all the warnings on my on my MacBook here trying to uh, show this thing off, but it is a uh, YouTube viewer. So that you will be able to watch things without, uh, and I'm just in the trending section right now, you'll be able to see things without uh, getting ads. And it's, But it's an actual full-on app that, uh, that, that kind of filters through. So, uh, yeah, it's a little bit of a workaround, and I probably shouldn't have downloaded something like this. Um, I think you can sign in with your account, maybe. No, yeah, you, you can. That's I really wouldn't want to do. Yeah, no, yeah, 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 agree. yeah, yeah. Seriously, <laughs> actually, no. It's more about creating profiles, and I think you do this completely well, independently. But so, but okay. it does say it does say on the web page, mm-hmm. import your subscriptions from YouTube. Mm, well, maybe it's maybe it's looking at it to import, but would maybe, be interesting. Can I just can I export my subscriptions into a file? Mm-hmm. It's just text and then import them into their application. I'd be interested. Out. Again, I don't know if I want my my Google credentials. A, yeah, you know, company. you can subscribe you subscribe to channels without an account. So okay. I don't know if you can just say these are who I subscribe to, like I said, somehow exporting or if that's a publicly visible thing. Mm-hmm. Does it have a whitelisting? So so I've seen a lot of this in parental controls where there's a lot of third party YouTube applications out there. Yeah. Because there's not really good parental controls on YouTube. Like if you want to say, I only want 
my kid or whomever to only visit like these six different channels like there's it's not all that easy to do that um so i'm wondering if i'm wondering if there's also a play for the app with like parental controls or additional controls around the around the application yeah i'd be curious about that too so i haven't taken done a deep dive in it but it was an interesting find today uh as i was kind of poking around with these so uh, it seems, I mean, it's YouTube. I don't know why it's doing such a low end, uh, uh, feed on here. Uh, but other than that, I mean, it has all the tools and everything for the most part that you would need. And yeah, you can bump yeah, it's a, I, I just checked out their, um, some of their docs here and documentation. It does not say it just says import and export subscriptions, mm. but it does not say, um, logging into your YouTube account. And if you're curious, there are versions for about every operating system here. Like yeah. I even see Fedora Web <laughs> Red Hat here. I see um um what was that an app image? What is that for? Is that for putting on the phone? Maybe Ubuntu, other Linux distributions, of course, Windows and uh, Mac are supported as well. It's in a beta kind of mode right now. I don't know how they're getting rid of this. It's, I mean, it's for, I'm sure it's a free project kind of situation, but. Um, kind of a curious thing. Go check. I mean, if you want, if you are interested in having a private YouTube client that doesn't report everything back to Google, um, this may be the way to go until it isn't. <laughs> we'll just qualify it that way. Uh, so, um, and then you got something for oh, you put the body bag in here for Patreon. We'll look up body bags on Patreon. I, I'm with you on that one. <laughs> um, let's see, Ponder. You we talked about both of yours. Um, jeez. I thought somebody was about to wreck in front of the studio. Uh, so this is one I don't. I feel like I've heard of this before on some of the super movie uh, uh, podcasts that I may listen to. Um, but uh, this one is um, uh, Letterboxd. Again, Amanda shared this one too. This is a community to talk about movies. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> so uh no it is like a you know tell us what you've seen browse the watch films uh save films watch their profile settings log films so it's like it's yeah it's like kind of like a, a a log of what you see uh kind of thing and then you can rate and have all kinds of uh stats and everything uh things like this this is for the big movie tracker buffs out there for the most part right yeah, and, and it, on the very bottom, it says, read our Internet Movie Database Migration Guide. Mm. So this also may be people who don't like what happened to Emma, you know, for whatever reason. Yeah, it says, yeah, go to your ratings. And so it's a way you can actually take them from, if you do ratings, let's say, from the Internet Movie Database, mm -hmm. you can export them, import it into here, and that way you don't have to recreate everything, which is always a pain. Yeah, yeah. So that's kind of nice. Uh, definitely not something that I've started in, in, in any, in any way, uh, uh, for that, but man, you can upgrade the pro like, yeah, this is a, this is a big movie buff tracker kind of situation. Mm -hmm. So it might be good for recommendations. Cause we know the recommendations when you're on the apps and Apple TV and stuff are not that great usually. So, um, but, uh, definitely it's letterbox It's letterbox.com without the E. Uh, so it's B O X D. Uh, on it and uh you can check that out. again amanda was recommending that one so go check that out and uh and i think that's all the stories all you have to, have to talk about is body bags <laughs> so all the doohickeys and everything so chilla it's good to have you back on the show Good to be back. I think I'm out next week. I gotta double check, but I well, should be back. We got we have to talk about next week because we have an iPhone release and I'll be in Michigan. So I'm kind of deciphering how we deal with that. Hmm. So, or do we take the week off? <laughs> and I, I think know. it's going to be way more than the iPhone. I think it's going to be the iPhone. I think you make some iPads, some new AirPods. Mm -hmm. There's going to be, I think, a lot to, a lot to digest. Yeah, we'll talk about how we're going to deal with that here. Uh, so it'll be a little bit different. Maybe I, I was playing with the idea. Of maybe being a Monday show, we'll see how everybody's availability is and whatever happens there. I will be in Michigan next week uh, for the Auto Drives uh, uh, workshops. Our, our drive challenge workshops uh doing the uh the the live av and production on that thing for them uh nothing anybody can see of course but i'm sure i'll have some instagram photos of that as well as baja next weekend uh so and uh yeah so we're gonna have some fun there dave ponder uh a, the iphoneography podcast which i think you will definitely be doing a show oh, the yes. night of the announcements and I'm always, I'm always interested to see what you guys have to say about the new phones yeah yeah and a little excited this year because 
this phone will be paid off next month. What'd you have? Uh, iPhone 13 Pro Max. I also have two payments left. Probably one with the bill that is now overdue uh, and, and will be available to do mine as well. Uh, mm-hmm. So looking forward to that. So now, uh, you the, know the what? thing I, I have I, to ask, the yes. thing I have to ask myself is, is there enough of a jump? Between and, and the big one, the big rumors that's kind of confirmed is they're getting bigger. Mm. So we're going from instead of 6.1, 6.7, they're doing 6.3, 6.9. Mm-hmm. So but will they finally? So I, my argument, will they finally support screen rotation on no. the non Max? No, they could. They did. They can. They, yeah. they did way back. We're talking over ten years ago. They did when mm-hmm. they came out with the with the original pluses. That if you went sideways, it had it did the screen and everything changed differently. But then they got rid of it and. It doesn't look like they will because that's operating system. They should, mm-hmm. but no, that that I don't think that'll change. But the question is now: Is six point three big enough? Up from six. Oh, see, I I just care. So <clears throat> I was yeah. actually I've always been a pro non max person because I didn't like the size. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> but now that there's more memory and better cooling in the max. I was thinking about it, but now that you're saying it's even bigger, I don't know. I that's too it's too well, big. It's and not the difference. Well, and the difference is right now the rumor is that the reason why they made the not the pro non max bigger was to put the five X zoom camera in and to put the more memory in. So the only difference in the because the fifteen there was a difference in memory and in the camera. There won't be a difference, just the size difference. I thought it was gonna no, I thought it was gonna be memory and cooling. Mm, maybe cooling, but uh memory, I mem- I think it will be basic. The only reason they would have more memory just because you have a bigger screen. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But in terms of the actual processing, the only difference, heavy rumors, unless they somehow pull out like a 10x for the max. Uh, if they do that, I'm I'm getting it. Um, but yeah, the the only difference will be screen size, really, in terms of everything else. They do a 10x. That's one of the reasons I still carry my Galaxy around, or I try to remember to take it everywhere I go because the zoom on that thing. Yeah, I, I mean, I would, I, I would love I would love it, 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 but I I don't think they're going to do it this year. Mm-hmm. And there's all, of course, always rumors on 17. There's always 17 rumors Damn. out hot and heavy. Well, we'll but, see how it goes. I, I think three years is a good window, though, uh, yeah. when it comes to these. Um, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm, you know, I, I, I don't think that I, it's terrible, except I do, I do do a lot of live, um, kind of some live, um, you know, edits and things like that. So, like, it's been kind of sketching, like, like things like YouTube Shorts. When I try to upload, it seems to hang and stuff like that, and just d- general just pauses that are happening. It could be just a re- reset on the on the phone could fix it. Um, but you know, I, I mentioned it in the video upgrades they've done in the last two versions. So mm-hmm. I'm, you know, to me, it's going to be enough of a jump to just be on the cutting edge of that. And I've waited three years. So I think, I think I'm about to yeah. for, for that. And even as it is, this is going to be a nice in studio. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like I already, I'll upgrade from using the, Oh, where is it? The iPhone eight plus that we've been using as the, uh, if you oh, watch wow. our, our D and D stuff, top rope tabletop, I use an iPhone eight plus. Oh, it's up here. Up here on this tripod, um, and 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 we NDI it to the VMix, and that's what we uh, the game board comes through on because there's not a lot of motion, so I'm not worried about it, right? So now that'll be a much nicer camera mm-hmm. that will be on that, and a little more processing power to make that kind of roll a little bit better. So I mean, these are these will still be very very useful cameras for us uh, moving forward, even as we upgrade. I think it becomes a kind of a, a, a you know you know, a, a last, you know, late model kind of system. So anyways, no, very happy with that guys. Thank you so much. We're going to get to the Patreon version here. Uh, thank you everybody that's been supporting the show. Thank you everybody listening to the show. Please share the show. If you like what's going on, we've got a lot of clips out there. Please comment on anything that comes up in there. Uh, a few people have already and really do appreciate the interaction. We'll see you guys next time. You've been our awesome audience. Have an awesome week.
This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at Sorgatron. I'm Eamon. I'm Merlin. And we're a gay. And his NB. Are you a reality television connoisseur? Do you like to discuss from an LGBTQ lens? If so, a gay and his NB is the podcast for you. Hear us break down all your favorite guilty pleasure reality shows from Bravo, Drag Race, and just about everything in between. Listen to A Gay and His Envy on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever.